and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Assessor Control. We played this deck about 10 days ago and I was surprised at uh, how good it was. You know, we did we did pretty well with it. I had like no expectations for it. Um, so we're going to we're going to go ahead and bring it back. You know, I like, you know, playing our wide variety of decks. So this deck in particular is a control deck built around a Trifarian Assessor. Uh, being able to play this, you draw one for each 5-plus power ally you have. So all these 5-power allies, we get to, to draw cards, whether it's you know, Trifarian, Glory Seeker, um, Hearthguard, Darius. And uh, and the the Hearthguard can like pump up some of our creatures. So you know, like we could turn oh, also the Crimson Awakener. We could turn Trifarian into a 5-power creature so it can trigger itself. We also have the Omen Hawk that if it hits Assessor, it's a 5-power creature as well um and then besides that uh we got some removal for smaller creatures with avalanche because we're trying to play a bunch of big creatures um you know we got a little interaction with like brittle steel elixir of iron a flash freeze stuff like that harsh winds and then our other big card is reckoning it's kind of hard to pull this off but when we do it can be devastating if we have a five plus power ally kill all units with four or less power so this can be a one-sided wrath um at times and then, of course, we have Anivia's also at the top end to help us finish out games. <clears throat> hey, Uguay. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a great day today. It is the weekend, so that is nice. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and let's go and try out this Trifarian Assessor deck. I wonder if we should be playing some Trindomir's instead of Anivia's, with Trindomir also being 5 plus power. Maybe. That's something to think about. We'll kind of like let's let's play this. This is the same list that we played last time, so I want to keep it the same. But I guess if if Anivia is underperforming, like every time we have an Anivia, you, we can think if this was Trindomir, would this be better? But yeah, Ugwe, this is why I, I I do every single day. I start at three o'clock Eastern, which is if you're on a different time zone, that's five hours and forty minutes ago. Um, and I stream four decks, and we play like ten matches for each deck. I basically stream for six or seven hours each day. What are we playing against? Garen Fiora. Culling Strike seems good. I'm not sure about Avalanche. Yeah, we'll keep Avalanche. Awesome. Good. Glad, glad day's going good. So basically, they could have like a bunch of like. Bright Steel Protectors and you know, a bunch of 3-2s and stuff like that for the Avalanche. But if they're... Yeah, if this plan's just Fiora, should be able to just Culling Strike Fiora. Nothing can stop me! Strike quickly, climb me. I didn't want to just play Culling Strike and, and lose my chance to play Trifarians. I want to, I want to be aggressive. Yeah, that's true. Ash also has five power. Could have Ash instead of Anivia. That is true. I could see that too. Safeguard our citizens. Ugh. Now Culling Strike doesn't kill this. Cut him down. Defend our banner. This will be quick. Still brittle steal it though. They need to 
just a moment. Let them experience. Here to win the war, soldier. Stand to. My shield is yours. Noxus! You're mine. So I was kind of hoping that Darius, you know, Darius is going to do seven damage here. Hoping Darius gets to do a lot of damage. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, X, there you go. There's the link for all of my decks. This is not good. Oh wait, I guess, oh man, this is a, I forgot, like this is actually a good combo. Hmm. You're welcome, Ugwe. What's up? The Legion waits. No Eastwood. Right now, I can't do this combo anymore. If only Fiora could see me now. She can. She's not impressed. <laughs> Gosh. All right. Let them eat souls. Out. 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 Outside. They just keep clawing at this chair, and I just can't. I can't have them just keep clawing at the chair. Sounds good. All right, hopefully this works. Going all in here. Try to kill all three of their things. They have a lot of cards over there. A lot of things can mess this up. Because that's the thing is like you have to have the five plus power ally when this resolves. Your move. All right, well, at least the important thing is I got Darius back, and obviously there's no reason to attack this turn. That's the important thing. We killed Fiora, got Darius back. And we got rid of two Repose. So, like, that one card killed Fiora, got rid of two Repose, and got us a Darius. That's pretty good for one card.
but obviously we were behind by a million cards anyway. We're still behind by two cards. Break their spirit and their soul. Smell that? A bite to cook it. I guess if they would have had another repose, I would have just died. Where you go, I go. Well, we almost stabilized. After being so far behind, almost stabilized. Kind of a weird card for them to be playing though. That four mana two two attack, it gets plus two plus two. Doesn't seem like the best option, but it got me. All right, versus Ezreal. This kind of matchup, we need as many threats as possible. All right, Killing Strike kills Ezreal. That's good. Glory Seekers are super vulnerable with that one toughness. Reckoning is a terrible card to draw. So, unfortunately, we've drawn two of those. Reckoning can be good against Elmux, but you really don't want to know there. Brittle Steel, also a very bad card to draw. This really couldn't go any worse for, for me than what's currently going. Could not go any worse. My arrow won't miss. Noxus! Victory requires a sharp blade. Protect the villages. Should have smulligan these five ones also. That's a good card. Pretty safe time to play this with them only having the one mana. That is what Reckoning's good at. It's good against Elnux. So, that was pretty nice. The War Mother will unite us all. Oh, this is kind of turned in our favor now with that reckoning. A little bit in our favor. I don't know. They they got six cards over there. No, I don't need more of you reckonings. The world's a big place. Let's see all. Of them. Should I just play reckoning? They have five mana. Uh, they can just. They're gonna 
Oh, wait, no, because they, they can't have harsh winds. They could have brittle steel. They don't play the other one. And they can maybe save this cooling strike and get away with this. Oh, I still have three mana for cooling strike anyway. Cool. All right, want to draw creatures, especially now that our creatures are even bigger because of Hearthguard. It's not a creature. Harsh Winds is our worst possible card to draw. It really can't do anything. Hey, Wrinkler. Can we just draw creatures, please? Of a thermogenic beam. Yay, a creature. What do you want? Let's soar. Hey, Toasted. We got Wrinkler and Toasted in here now. Let them get the kill on Anivia. I know, right? So many zero power creatures. <sighs> Just keep drawing spells. Draw creatures. Yeah. That's a good one, too. That was a good creature to draw. I'm so good, I surprised myself. The world's a big place. Let's see all. All right, so we kill the Ezreal so we don't take lethal here. No way. But we're going down to three. But they are empty-handed now. They yeah, 
they went all in. Sweet. That's right, we, we had them right where we wanted them. Coaling strike, looking good. GG's, all right, one and one. That assessor was definitely good drawing and, you know, got to draw two. Let me play that. We saw, like, kind of how good Anivia is there, though. Like, Anivia was definitely really good in that, that game. Just, um, you know, just not dying and getting those triggers in and everything. Um, and just basically never dying. Like, they used the thermogenic beam on the Anivia and still survived. All right, basically our... This is basically the same deck that we lost to the first time. Barrier stuff. Yeah, Nivea is pretty awesome. That'd take a little bit to play, though. Take a little time. Pumping up some creatures. I hope we draw an Assessor. That was not necessarily a good one to draw. Because we'll just have a 3-5 Anivia instead of the 2-4. Because we want Trifarian Assessor, because then Assessor will be able to trigger itself, draw off itself. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. I demand caution. Fair. <laughs> this isn't the best calling strike. It's because I'm not killing Fiora. I, I would have rather killed Fiora. Yeah, we got him down to 17. Almost dead. Hey, Yud. Doing good? I am one with the land. We got a slow hand. Cool, cool part, this is a 4 mana 7-7. Seven, seven. The not cool part is it does 1 damage to my other allies, so these 1 drops would just die. Sure. Waste my so I guess we'll just chump block with them. You've been trying War Mother's Call using Freljord and Noxus. Ooh, okay. So basically, like, the kind of deck that we're playing here, but with War Mother's Call. That's interesting. I could see playing War Mother's Call in here. I have my words. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Worst case scenario is they have repose. Too late for you. 
Ooh. And I was going to say they block Darius with Repost, but they're not blocking Darius. Like with this thing with Repost. So this. Whoa. I was going to say that probably means it's normal barrier, but no barrier at all? Virtue guides me. Yuck. Why would they give that card a barrier anyway? What's up? get plus two plus zero uh i probably I should just block with the darius on it barrier protects from kill right or no it does not no it doesn't Oh, a Legion Marauder? Oh, okay. And you have Starlight Seer also in there? All right, I'm liking it. Yeah, yeah, you'll have to send me that list. That sounds pretty sweet. requires a sharp blade and a long path to get here darn not lethal anymore Let me see if I can get this somewhere. Yeah, I'm not too big on Icy Yeti either. Like if they just have a bunch of barriers to protect this Radiant Guardian, this still isn't very good for me. Like, for right. I'm not actually in that amazing of a spot right now. But yeah, I definitely see replacing the, the Icy Yetis. That is kind of a cool thing to hit off of War Mother's Call, though, Icy Yeti is. No barrier. Well, this is good. But those things are gone. That's good. Rhyme Tusk Shaman been playing. Has that been doing well for you? We speak with blades. Soldiers to me. I never hold back. Try me. I will in 
Do you think a best of three, best of five version of this game would include sideboarding? Yeah, well, you definitely wouldn't want best of five. I mean, that just that just takes too long. And even best of three, I think that just kind of takes possibly just takes too long, or like longer than what they want games to to be, at the very least. Line up. Only the strongest become Trifarian. Um, because you know a lot of these games are are already, you know, like twenty, thirty minute affairs. And then you make best of three. The the cyborg games would, Show them what you know, like they're always of. basically cyborg games are always longer. Yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, I think it, even terms and stuff are just second one. I mean, you, you really don't, like, I haven't, like, whenever I've been playing this game, I haven't been thinking, man, I wish I had a sideboard for the most part. Like, I mean, you do get to, um, you know, you get to see what your opponent's champions, their factions and their champions, you get to make informed mulligan decisions because of that. You know, with best of one on, on magic, well, one, it's one magic's really designed more for best of one. Like it, they really push like a super aggro, super control kind of decks. And and um, well, Legends of Runeterra has has talked about they don't want that kind of stuff. They don't want non-interactive decks. And magic really, they they build non-interactive decks. And so I think that one that this game is just going to be much. Uh, much better in that respect but then two if you're playing best of one in magic you know your opponent could be on esper control or mono red and like how do you keep a hand that you know like like what do you do like how like, they could be playing either one and it's just like impossible but this you they tell you you know are they on esper control or on mono red and then you mulligan cards away and you're like okay well this is they're on mono red this is the good card against mono red. Let's mulligan these others that are for Esper, and so on. So it does make. It makes that less of an issue. I will endure. But one, I don't. I don't think that Riot's going to be building that kind of stuff. Like. They don't want. They don't want uh, that kind of those kind of decks, like those kind of gameplays. Eternal winter. So they need to have deny for this trigger just to start with, and then they probably need like judgment also. So they need like deny plus judgment. And we drew the flash freeze, which is perfect against judgment. Right. Which honestly, I guess I had a flash freeze in hand last game. I didn't even need to use it. So last turn. Alright, board two and one. Hearthstone does tournaments like where you bring three decks and then your opponent bans one. I, yeah, that could definitely be a thing. That's I don't really like that though. Like that's I mean it could just be like you bring three different decks and you play three three games and you just you know you pick one for game one, one for game two, and one for like one for match one, one for match two, and one for match three. And your opponent also picks them and. So there's like a, 
a game there of like which which deck are you gonna bring for each round the whole band one like that's that's not a feel good you know like you have like your own like pet deck that you, you know you build and stuff and and really like it and then their opponents say you can't play that like that's that's not that's not very good All right, so they're playing Zed Lucian, Demacia Ionia. I'm expecting like a whole bunch of like, like this should be pretty aggressive, right? Like pretty aggro. So my plan is I have Trifarian on turn three and then I could go Reckoning on turn four. So I could have turn four like Sweeper. The Avalanche is a good draw. I could just play Avalanche right now and just kill these two things um, instead now. And just take the two for one. For the hand. I don't think I really need to do that. So I don't really need to take Into a two for face. one. We can do better. I'll do my best. Can't fight on an empty stomach. They could have Will of Ionia. Noxus! I want to attack first to give them priority so they play another thing. Do not fear the shrouded path. Soldiers to me. Dude, reckoning is mean no radiant strike i'm dead oh they got me radiant strike yeah i should have just passed i thought about passing after they played the two one i wonder if they would have just played the zed also i don't know man that's crazy Oh, okay. So there, there's a Legends of Runeterra Invitational in South Korea on Monday, and they're playing best of five and best of seven. With the same deck? With just one deck? Or are they playing, or do you play like multiple decks? Zed Hecarim. That's definitely going. Three decks you have to win with every deck okay just the first first person to win with every deck yeah that is a long tournament no region overlap i like that oh attack you Xmas Baker. Let's get some hype for our new Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, of course, mommy. Go ahead. Fourth sub of the day. Awesome. I will play my part. Okay, cool. Awesome. Glad you're liking the expeditions. Cool. Great. Hey, yeah, thanks for the gifted sub. Mommy getting that sub for helping out. 
And that gets us to a sub goal. We hit the sub goal today. That is awesome. Thank you, everybody. And so that's going to uh, mark that down towards the next 12 hour stream. All right, so we got 14 out of 20 sub goals to the next 12 hour stream. They're just showing off. Got that sub goal. And Black Geppetto getting in on the sub action. Thanks, Black Geppetto. 11 awesome months. Thanks for keeping that going. Don't think we're going to win this game. Master. Yeah, I can't really imagine we're winning this game. Still have eight cards, like probably have more, you know, like rekindlers and hecarums. They always do. Always have more rekindlers and hecarums. Darn it. They never just play something else. Hey, Krabby. That's oh. interesting. They actually played something else. So wait, are we are we now two and two? Did I already mark that we lost that? Or are we now two and three? I think we're two and three now. 
Yeah, I think we were two and two before that. If anybody has been watching, I think, and can help confirm. Same matchup. If anybody knows, I I think we're two and three now. But I'm not sure, honestly. Pledge yourself to the shadow. So I don't want to play the Glory Seeker to kill it because I don't want to play the Glory Seeker first before the Awakener. I guess I could just, I mean, if I'm playing it to to kill Zed, it's just going to die anyway. Zed's Shadow, shadow Shift. So this should get rid of two Zeds, right? Like this will kill this Zed and then this this one just I assume this will just fizzle. And so they should be done down two Zeds. This is my assumption. That's how this is gonna work. Perfect. Alright, two Zeds down. Sure, waste my time. They cannot hide. What do you want? Why these awakeners? Four mana, five five. They get the attack token on a Hecarim turn. Maybe they don't have Hecarim. That would be awesome if they don't. Please play something else, not Hecarim. Boo. Well, Darius can block Hecarim. So we'll go with Darius. Your life is a burden. 
So now Hecarim dies to Avalanche. Oh, come on. Uh, they have this thing with Deathmark again. That was certainly our downfall last game was the death mark stuff. Of course, they just have the third Zed also right after he used Avalanche. Of course. Sure, wait my time. Return to us. Yeah. This did not go particularly well. You're the one hiding behind a mask. You better bleed. That was a really meek attack. That's a card that's going to get nerfed on Monday. This one right here, Frenzied Skitter. This is my call for a card that's getting nerfed. It is too good. Empires are built upon action. Move! Be a good one.
Do I use my flash freeze on this thing? Right now we're taking 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. Yeah, just take the 12 damage, right? I could see them like trying to mark the aisles or something. Cause I don't think they're gonna be able to do four direct damage. pretty good. Reckoning is really good against Hecarim and against Rekindler Hecarim. No. Uh. Boo. that deny reckoning was going to destroy all their creatures they're going to get two four fours but that was not going to save them Sweet. They had to top tech mark the aisles. All right, so I think we're three and three now. So could possibly be three and two. I may have counted that last loss twice. Still not quite sure. Nobody in chat confirmed or denied. So we're going with three and three. This is a strong hand, but it doesn't do anything until turn four. I really hope we draw Avalanche. Okay, Reckoning. Okay, so we'll have turn five Reckoning. Could be a little, little late. Yeah, rising up the ranks. Ooh, nice. This is, of course, just going to be a chump blocker. Don't get in my way. I'll chump block Lucian before I chump block Cythria. Um, All right, just take the two for one. We're, but it's really a two for two because I just, I just chump blocked with that other card. So. There's a chill in the air. Sure, waste my time.
We'll see if Reckoning resolves. They can have Deny. They can have Will of Ionia. Either of those would be devastating. Wow, just pass. All right. Well, them use all that mana. Or, like, not use all that mana. I've got your back. What do you want? It's just kind of it's kind of too risky to go with reckoning. I feel like. Even though it obviously would be amazing if it would just happen and they wouldn't have any instant. Feel like it's a little too risky. Real tough, aren't you? Do they have back to back? No, we don't have back-to-back. -back. That attack, it seemed like they had back-to-back. Turn. Protect and strike. This will be quick. What's up? I can only let one one of their creatures die, so I have to take eight. But we get to kill Lucian. Oh, Lucian had a barrier. What am I doing? My steel is yours. Let's see what you've got. Still have to keep blocking Lucian because otherwise Lucian flips. Looks like. You know, playing the Assessor, obviously playing the Assessor this last turn instead of Reckoning uh, is going to cost me this. No! I'll sleep with their dead. It's fairly obvious.
Yeah, we're we're dead. I I tried to tried to not cast reckoning because I didn't want to get blown out, but by not by not casting it, they were able to just swarm and kill me, and I I needed to cast this a long time ago. I couldn't stay. I it ended up that I couldn't stabilize without using it. All right, back to 361. All right, so if we win two of the next three, we can finish 500. Ezreal Karma is gonna be tough. Because of how slow our deck is. But that that last match I feel like I, I could have won and or played played better. I, I played too scared. Should not have played so scared. Keeping of Elixir of Iron because their deck is built around the, the damage spells. And so Elixir of Iron can be one mana save one of these, you know, expensive threats. Swift. Problem, of course, is, is I have nothing I to play to for a while. Because my other mulligan cards and cards that we've drawn... Not oh, great. Helped. There we go. There's something to play. That was a good draw. I got the goods. Fine. Not playing scared this this time. There's the whole crimson gang. That elixir of iron. One mana, get a f one spell mana that you know, like we had saved anyway. We get a five two. Perfect. You better bleed. Save me, Luke. Our strength is yours. Let none disturb my meditation. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. So, trying to go for the double spell with the Glory Seeker Assessor. Obviously, they're going to just use a removal spell on the Glory Seeker. So, I'm probably just drawing one card. It could be drawing zero cards. They just use Harsh Winds. Wait, they're not a Harsh Winds deck. Mushrooms. 
Well, that's really annoying. You earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Show you how it's done. Might as well trade. Excuse you. Uh, uh, I misjudged. Alone, you see things as they truly are. Yep, so that yeah, it's it's yep, there's all all the links to all the decks are in there. Um also if you want to see the Vladimir Rally deck in action, the video is up on the YouTube channel. As well if you want to see how it how it played and everything. Me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Only the finest serve. Who have you brought me? So many cards. Hey, you're welcome, Josh. Cards. You're welcome. Just said thanks for cheering the game, man. Just started playing a few days ago, and it's sick. Yeah, this game is awesome. It's a lot of fun to play and I'm, I'm just i'm excited for you know what kind of changes may happen on tuesday excited for you know whenever they have new sets all that kind of stuff all right gonna frostbite that no life steal for you Okay, so I guess we're gonna block Scurry, weakling. and harsh winds. I think I need to kind of stay at a decently, you know, I need to stay at a decent life total. I don't really want to take that four. <sighs> mm. 
Don't think I really need to try to cast Reckoning this turn. I'm going to Decimate. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Hit him where it hurts. They will bleed for Noxus. Don't know of any, um... Okay. I say I don't really know of any downside of playing the Anivia. As fate wills. They gotta have another Will of Ionia for the Darius, right? Like, that's their plan. Man, Static Shock doubled with Karma is pretty awesome. dead. Um, oh gosh, because all these do... All these, these are four damage each now. Yeah, so that's just lethal, just burst speed. All right, three and five. I can't even try to concede. It has to go and do everything. Our deck's not the, the best, but we've, you know, it's been very competitive. We've, we've, uh, put up some good fights. Nivea Lux. That's interest that's an interesting combination. Well I like our I like our hand, it's as as it's as aggressive as we get. Curvin out. Trifarian, Awakener, Hearthguard. Dare you. What do you want? 
Cool. I was thinking that we we're just going to have to get rid of the Trifarian. But nope. I'm surprised they didn't just attack right away. They just passed right away. Considering my... Uh, they might have just forgot the Trifarian can't block. Many tribes under one banner. Noxus! I will hold the line. Oh no, don't hit it, don't hit it. Yeah, good. Our strength is yours. Still got a flash freeze. You think they're trying to set up judgment? Seems reasonable, right? Seems like they were trying to set up judgment. was the kind of hand that we really won against control decks that was a really good curve that worked out really well and let's get this let's get to 500 Ezreal. Gone, gone. Reckoning. We don't want that either. I'll just send Reckoning back. But Reckoning can be really good in this, this matchup if they have the Elnux. Oh my gosh, these are terrible cards. Basically, we want like the exact same hand that we just had previously. We don't want Avalanche and Harsh Winds at all. I like Elixir. Elixir is fine. We need our five power plus creatures. Not really a Nivea. You're too slow. Okay, that's good. There's a scent in the air. Gotcha. <clears throat> just gonna use it it's not a great use of the card but oh well all i need is the the one you know so I have the one mana to protect the assessor you earn the right to call themselves trifarian mm, let's get the block Line 
join up. Take you. Yeah, I bet you're right there, Josh. I bet you're right. You can see the Nebastian border from here. Gosh. <laughs> Drawn all the reckonings. It's nothing but reckoning. Does it work? Okay. We'll take it. So they're down to six cards. I have seven, and I have this 5 4 in play. And we have backup reckonings. I liked how they didn't have the mana for harsh winds. That was one thing that was important with me casting that. Targeted five times so far. The chill before the storm. Yeah, it's basically a waste of that, but I don't want them to get a free mystic shot. This Ezreal's about to kill me. I would like a cooling strike. As you can tell, I'm trying to set up this Reckoning. Hey, Kuno. Cool, glad you're enjoying the game also. 
Yeah, I wanted a, a Twitch name. I changed the Twitch name because I didn't want one that had a specific game in it. <laughs> Check mm. me out. Unfortunate. Now harsh winds. If they have harsh winds, it's over. Oh, that's a hobby. But yeah, so I didn't want a, any specific name in my or any game in my Twitch name. Well, I can't have harsh winds now. But obviously they're playing spells that are killing me. Yeah, I love how yeah, the draft drafting is awesome in this game. Yeah. I agree. Uh didn't quite get there. Ezreal got us. We had a very poor hand that time. All right, so that's our assessor control deck. So we went four and six. Um, Anivia wasn't wasn't spectacular in the deck. I could definitely see playing Ash instead of Anivia um, or Trindamir. We talked about you know like either Ash or Trindamir, both five power creatures. Even Vladimir. Vladimir wouldn't be bad either. It did seem like we needed a, a few more threats. Like we didn't have enough threats. We had too much of the like the frostbite stuff. Um, you know, too many, you know, we played against a lot of decks that didn't really care about creatures. I think we had too many harsh winds, flash freeze, brittle steel, like too, too much of those cards, honestly, especially if we're not playing Ash. Um, yeah, I could see playing Vladimir in this. Um, and yeah, cause you know, like we want, yeah, we want our things to survive reckoning. Definitely our other um our other champion i think i think that that would that would be good so it's you know something ash trindamir vladimir something there get a little cheaper make it a little better for assessor and then and then yeah i could i could definitely see playing one maybe two uh war mother's calls and have that at the top end that could be pretty nice um assessor is a play trigger so you won't get like the assessor trigger um but hearth guards a summon so that's good um but yeah when you're playing a bunch of expensive creatures like that all right but still uh fun deck to play fun deck to play here with assessor control it's not too bad either all right, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, leave those comments. I always appreciate the comments over there. Um, let me know what you think we should do with the deck. Like, if, uh, you know, like, what should, if you think we should change Anivia, if we, like, what you would recommend taking out some of these Frostbite cards for, um, that kind of stuff. You know, feel free to leave those comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Assessor Control, and I'll see you for the next video.